Here at the Something for the Weekend studios, we do like to have lots of different inserts, bringing you audio of things that normally you would only get to read about. Because the Something for the Weekend team have decided to take the summer off because we're a wee bit busy, that doesn't mean we're not working, we just don't have time to get everyone together to do the podcast. But Cathy has been down to the bridge over the Atlantic to catch up with seal crofter DJ McDougall, who is picking up his pipes to raise a £1,000 for charity. On August the 28th, he'll be marching five miles whilst playing the pipes, all the way from the open side of the bridge over the Atlantic down to the seafront of Elanabeg. Funds raised are for Royal British Legion Scotland's Eastdale branch. So DJ, how long have you been playing the pipes for? Gosh, it must be at least 15 years now. Um, I started when I was about nine years old. Um, I was taught um, in Eastdale Primary School. Uh, my father plays the pipes as well, so it's kind of like a family tradition. And you're the piper for the Royal British Legion Easdale bar- branch. Now I'm going to cut in and explain here that we are actually chatting in the middle of a bridge over the Atlantic. So, and there are cars going past, but we're going to keep going because if we stopped every time, we'd never be able to uh, crack on. And those people waiting at the bottom of the bridge to hear you play would get very uh, impatient with us. So you're the piper for the e- Easdale branch of the Royal British Legion. And how long have you been doing that? Um, at least a couple of years now. Um, Ron uh, Hetherington um, asked me to do it, I think 2018, and um, yeah, gladly accepted. It's, it's an honour to be the, uh, the piper to the Steel Branch. And I think going back years, there are some links between yourself, oh, a little pipe there on someone's uh, car hooter. Uh, there are some links that you've got with um, the services, is that right? Um, not as such, no. I mean, my family's been uh, living on the island uh, for a long time. It took us a local name. Um, so in that respect, yeah, we've got, got a connection with uh, uh, the island. And the, uh, I think some members of the family were, were possibly um, in the branch in the past. That's what I was getting at. That was the, <laughs> that was the connection. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, so listen, I'm going to let you warm up. So I think it might take 30 seconds or so, but yeah. let's uh, let's let you do that, and then we'll start walking. All right, I'll give my quick tune and see how we get on. that actually we've only just walked a few yards from the top of the bridge over the Atlantic 
just down to the uh, car park near the uh, the TNT pub. But on the August the 28th, you're going to be walking almost five miles from this point to Eleanor Back in aid of the Royal British Legion. It's a bit murky today. I'm, I'm a bit worried about the pipes and the different weather conditions. What would be your perfect day to do that in? Yeah, well, dry, uh, dry conditions would be ideal. Uh, not too hot though, I have to say. Um, something you know, a reasonable temperature, but definitely dry weather. Uh, maybe a wee bit of sunshine, that'd be ideal. I'm sure you're gonna bring a lot of sunshine to people when they <laughs> when they see you. How long do you think it's gonna take you to do? Uh, well, that's the thing, I'm not entirely sure yet. I would say at least an hour and a half, probably close to two hours. Um, difficult to say, you need to do a bit of practice, I think, uh, before I work out that one. And what about stopping off? I mean, it's, it's one thing walking five miles, but playing the bagpipes at the same time doesn't sound an easy task to me. No, definitely not. It's, uh, it's an endurance challenge for sure. Um, try and keep going as far as I can. Uh, maybe the odd pit stop here and there, but um, certainly I'll be playing when I cross Clacken Bridge and uh, I'll be playing when I get to Easedale as well, no doubt about it. And will you be taking requests? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if people want to shout requests at me, I'll, I'll probably do my best to, to factor them in. Um, high tempo tunes would be ideal, I think. Keep you going, yeah. keep you going. What time are you actually planning on starting off? Have you got that far yet in your organising? Um, not got that far, maybe mid-morning, something like that, yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much and all the best with it. Thank you very Take much. Take care now. Bye-bye. Cheers. So DJ's just been telling me that He's a member of Oban Pipe Band and they've not really played a note together since the early 2020. So I know he's uh, really happy to be able to uh, have this opportunity to raise some funds for you. And that's really important for the branch because it's been difficult during COVID. It's been very difficult indeed because we haven't been able to hold any of the normal things that we would have done. We would have normally by now had a book sale. We would have been planning um, probably a dance for the summer and we would have been looking forward to the annual general sale which takes place on the 28th the day he's going to do this walk and we know he set his target at one thousand pounds yes so that's great <laughs> and good luck to him on that let's uh, get behind him but it'd be nice if we can sort of smash that target wouldn't it it would be lovely if we could smash that target the normal um annual sale brings in between 1200 and 1500 pounds on a day and that's a big chunk of money as far as the legion branch is concerned on average we distribute roughly 5000 pound a year to forces charities and uh, that's I think a lot that's, of money for a it's small a lot branch of money isn't for it? a very small branch yes and we have done this for a long long time now Next year the branch is 100 years in existence. It was formed originally as a post of the comrades of the Great War and that was the chaps who came back in 1919. And in 1920, what, in 1921 the members of the post of comrades of the Great War were given a lease to Easdale Hall by the Marquis of Bredalbert and they formed themselves then into a branch of the Royal British Legion which had been formed earlier that year. My word, so <laughs> next year it's going to be a big year. It's going to be a big year. Centenary, we might have to invite <laughs> DJ back to do something else for us. <laughs> well, we have got things planned and hopefully the restrictions will be lifted sufficiently that we can implement those plans. Fingers crossed, fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. It can only get better from here. I hope so. I hope <laughs> we love Thank to you, hear Ron. your feedback Thank on you. our podcast, so why not drop us a line? Something for the weekend at opentimes.co.uk or comment on our Instagram or Facebook pages. And if you fancy getting involved with the programme with some original music, please get in touch. That's all for this week. There'll be another new podcast, same time, same place next week. And of course, you can listen to some of our older podcasts at www.opentimes.co.uk slash podcasts.